So Meat Canyon recently came out with a video that calls out people for rubbing the chub to little anime girls. I just want to be fully transparent. We're talking about Lollicon. This was sparked due to Vosh accidentally exposing his goblin hub. You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. However, many people are claiming that Meat Canyon is being a hypocrite because he's made videos in the past that depict underage cartoon characters in a very vulgar or sometimes sexual fashion. So the big question of the day, is Meat Canyon a hypocrite? Here's the thing, when we're going over a topic such as this, we do have to include the intent. Hunter's videos are meant to be comedic first and foremost, but it's also supposed to be incredibly unsettling. The intent of Meat Canyon videos is to make you laugh and acknowledge that what you're watching is disgusting. Meat Canyon is isn't throwing up a 3,000 year old vampire lord with the body of an 8 year old and saying, Oh my god, isn't she just super kawaii? I mean, there's literally a clip in Hunter's video that perfectly exemplifies why his animations are meant to be disturbing and funny, not to arouse his audience. Oh my god, nothing wrong with a nice panty shot from time to time. <laughs> uh, but Diesel, there are probably people out there who have wanked to beat Candid videos, so does it really matter what the intent is? Can I vouch that there has not been one single person who's wanked to a Meat Canyon video? No, but uh, people will fucking jerk off to anything these days. Because after like the fifth and sixth wank, you just gusher to whatever. I'm sure some weirdo has wanked to at least one Meat Canyon video, but I'm also 100% sure that other content on YouTube that isn't meant to be sexual in the slightest has also been wanked to. Yeah, Meat Canyon videos are like old new grounds clips. It's supposed to be fucked up. Everything looks fucking disgusting. It looks grotesque. I know there's a meme about, you know, uh, hiding uh, your true intentions under shock value, but that's what it is. It's shock value. There's no underlining message in it. It's just supposed to be fucked up. That's it. The intent isn't to arouse the viewer. It's to be gross and disturbing because the people making these animations know it's gross and disturbing. So like I stated earlier, Meat Canyon talking on this subject is so beyond hypocritical when he has made multiple animations where underage characters are being sexualized. Okay, you've seen his Ben 10 clip, his Demon Slayer clip. Now let's check out this clip right here, featuring the magic school bus. We, we want WAP! We, we want WAP! You children want to disobey my curriculum and learn about old Miss Frizzle's sandbox, huh? Yeah! Let's not pretend to be stupid. We all have functioning brains that can tell what the intent behind something is. Uh, well, I for one don't find it funny, and if you think little children flying into Miss Frizzle's vagina is humorous, then there's something wrong with you. I mean, yeah, that shit is hilarious, but that doesn't necessarily make me a Minecraft YouTuber. Even though most of the hate towards Hunter's lolly take is idiotic, I do have my gripes. I think the only leg that people have to stand on is the Tom Brady video, and the reason I say this is Hunter animated a real guy and his real son making out. I don't know if YouTube deleted this video or Hunter did it himself, but it's off the website right now. You can only find re-uploads. The reason why I think this video is off-putting and most of his other videos are funny is due to two reasons. First off, this video features two real people including a real child that exists second it doesn't feel over the top enough to be funny to me like the joke is just tom brady making out with his son and that's about it whereas the magic school bus video has miss frizzle students shrink down in the magic school bus to fly into her vagina only to be trapped in her wet crater for the rest of time this situation is so over the top that anyone with a brain would just laugh this off as super ridiculous i mean no one's looking at that and being like uh this video is a self-report also the designs for tom brady and his son are pretty mild for a meat cannon video. They're not so outrageous looking, they look very different from their counterparts. Does it cross the line between funny and off-putting? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Hunter animating a real kid making out with his dad is just fucking weird. I mean, clearly he was trying to be funny, but... <laughs> It's one thing to make a joke about Brady making out with his son, and it's another to actually spend hours animating it. The thought of Hunter drawing and animating Tom Brady French kissing his real son takes priority in my head over the joke of Tom Brady kissing his son on the lips. Now, there's also many people claiming that Hunter's deleting top comments manually that point out his hypocrisy. I can't confirm if this is true because I found this video like two days later, so I have no idea what comments were present. But if Hunter really did delete comments that criticize his opinion, then he's being a ginormous pussy. Especially if you're someone like him who makes videos mocking people. Get thicker skin, my dude. But if you must know, he doesn't really have a problem with anime itself or even like 
the cutesy aspect of some of the little girls. It just, when it crosses that line of sexualizing them, that's when it's an issue. And I don't see how that's a weird, bad take to have. Like, you guys know this, I'm a, I'm a filthy, smelly weeb sometimes, and uh, some of the stuff that I read makes me a little uh, uncomfy, uwu. There's this one scene in Berserk, and I think you guys know uh, which one I'm talking about, involving the... Uh, little witch girl. I thought that was unnecessary. Now, does that mean I've joined the EDP church uh, just because I read Berserk? No. I read Berserk for different reasons. I don't read it for that fucking weird ass scene. But there is some odd shit in, uh, in, the, in the weeb culture that needs to be toned down just a little bit. 